Hey, yo, John. Yo, John. Yo, John. What them niggas talking about, man? They dropped that shit in that account yet? Okay, we out. It's 10, keep it lit, we bout to check. Bout to check. I just want the money, not the neck. Not the neck. We pulling up. What's up with you, buddy? Oh, uh, shit, lit, like always. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Man, let's start with telling the people who you is, buddy. I'm just a young entrepreneur from Hager, California, man, repping this team, keep it lit, set, cookie boys. Um, shit, I do a bunch of art. I make music. Um, shit, anything. I'm a weed connoisseur. I got my own weed strain. Shit, I do it all, man. Hell yeah, I want to get into that too, though, uh, about your weed strain. Um, let the people know what it's called. Mm. That's right here. It's called Jilla Wafers. It's the newest shit right now. It's a. Uh, it's a sativa, get you high out of your fucking mind, man. But uh, yeah, that's the, you know, Nilla wafers, Jilla, that's the only thing that just goes right with it. So I'm like, yeah. let me fuck around and do this. It's Hell catchy, yeah. and that shit been flying off the shelves. Hell yeah. How did you get into it, like, making your own weed? Uh, shit, I've always been around this shit for like at least 10, 12, 15 years. I've been around this shit heavy. I've been smoking for probably longer, but my brother-in-law and shit, I know a lot of like growers and a lot of people since the shit's been about to be legal at the end of the year, so... These motherfuckers like, man, you gotta really stamp some shit with your name on. You got a lot of fans and a big fan base and shit. You be on tours doing all this shit around a lot of people. You gotta just put your own weed up. Yeah. So I'm like, fuck it, we gonna rock this shit. Hell yeah, hell yeah, man. You you big right now off your art and your canvases too. Um, what's up with that? Uh, shit. That clay candy shit in 2007, like with the little clay and the glitter shit with the little chains. And that shit did hella well for me for probably like four or five years. I mean, I could have kept that shit going, but it was so many people biting that shit. So I'm like, fuck it. I started doing the canvases. I'm like, some shit like this, really. Some little, you know what I'm saying? Just make, yeah. when motherfuckers pull up in town, artists and shit, I become giving them some shit for their house or their studio. Yeah. And that shit just be going crazy, too. So I've just been doing that shit. Like, my whole life, I've been in art and shit. You yeah. Know? Hell yeah. How did you feel, like, when you start making the, uh, the clay candy chains and shit? Like, did you think it was gonna blow like it did when you first started, or what? Uh, not really, honestly. I was just inspired by, like, Gucci Man, and he's been having big-ass Atlanta Falcons fucking helmets and all that shit. Like, all them niggas in Atlanta and down south had them big-ass chains. And when yeah. I was a kid, I'm like, I can't afford this shit. Yeah. I'm gonna make one out of clay and glitter. And I, at the time, I, I'm like, I'm... I'm doing this shit as art, so when I first pushed that line to everybody, they respected it, you feel me? Yeah. I didn't expect it to do so, as big as it did, but I knew it was going to be something cool. And then once I seen, like, Wiz and all these people fucking with it, Mac Miller and shit, I'm like, oh, this is this just was a spark to flame, you feel me? Yeah. Uh, What was your first <laughs> clay chain, your clay candy chain? The first one I did, I got one right here, actually. Mm -hmm. Let me grab it real quick. This is, uh, the first one I ever did was a Philly Drip one, but this one, I do my face. You know what I'm saying? Some crazy shit. And you're the first one was one of the first one. First five. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, man. So that was like one of the first five I did. The first one I did was actually a filthy drip bird. It looked like this yeah. this, this bird, but it looked like the lit set bird. It was filthy drip at the time. Yeah. But um, yeah, that was one of the first ones. And then the first big one I did was the one for Wiz Khalifa that Bombay shit. Yeah, I was gonna talk about that too. How did you feel when you um you know linked up with Wiz? I didn't like Wiz at first. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, I did not, I did not like not like him as a person. I just didn't like his music at the time because my nigga Basic always used to put me on music hella early before the shit blew up, and I'm like, man, this is corny. Like, I don't know if he's. It's like he had like as far as video, he's walking on the train tracks. I just didn't like his music, but then yeah. speaking into existence, all the shit we do is like law of attraction. I'm in it meeting this nigga yeah. and giving him a piece, and he was like mad cool, and that's when he was working on uh, I think Black and Yellow, and then that shit came out. Like Cushion Orange yeah. was already out. And I met him, he was hella cool, he flew us out to Hollywood and shit, I'm like, alright, fuck with bro, and then start going on tours with him, hella shit, and that's the rest of history type shit. Yeah. Well, uh, what was up with you and Soldier Boy? How did y'all link up? Oh, uh, that J cat ass nigga. <laughs> uh, now, Soldier Boy, he a cool dude, we linked up on some, um, I'm just gonna keep it 1,000, I'm never gonna hate on a nigga, but, uh, we linked up through Young L from the pack, um. The young L was doing the Pink Dolphin shit, and I was working for Pink Dolphin for like five years, so Young L, when I was living in L.A., he like, Soldier Boy want to meet you. Soldier Boy, he was tweeting. Soldier Boy was already tweeting me like four or five times. Like, make me a chain, make me a chain. So I made him a chain just on the strength, like, on my own. I made him some shit that I didn't even think he'd want. But then he ended up loving it. So I went to his penthouse one time, and he was just mad cool and shit. Like, so I, I fucked with him for years. I ended up fucking so. Yeah. I don't fuck with niggas like that or the back and forth type shit. So, I mean, shout out to him, all the love that he gave me and type shit. But I would never let him do me like he did one of them other niggas. Like, you know, I'm pretty sure you heard a lot of the stories how he yeah. treat people you fuck with, but. I never let him get to that point with us, feel me? It was always respect type shit, but it was, yeah. cool. it was a fun experience. Period. Hell yeah. 
feel that. Let me, let me, let me show you. Hold on, let me, let me. Yeah, man, let, let the people know what the is. fuck that is, man. My OG already told me about some damn tie stick. It's a tie stick. This is an artisan can person. of cigar. This is the new age tie stick. It's not like the old shit. I, I'm assuming my pops telling me the shit was just a, some whole other level. This is some shit where they rolling up the weed with some wax and some oil. Correct me if I'm wrong, Chris. We got Chris Iron Chef in the building too. Shout out to him. And some like hemp wire, and they cure this shit for hella long. So you take off this whole little motherfucking wrap like this, take the stick out. You gotta spark this bitch with a torch, but this bit lasts for like an hour. Feel me? It's like just pure weed. Like this, it's like three grams of tree, and then like some wax, and ends up being like this. Take this bitch off, take the stick out, and now this motherfucker ready to go. And you believe it or not, that bitch is gonna last like an hour. And this weed stuck all in this bitch. Pure weed. Ain't nothing else. Ain't no paper. Ain't no backwood. No none of that shit. Put that in the camera. Yeah, put that over to the camera before I spark it. You gotta spark it with a torch though. And then and then and then no homo, we're gonna get to this early too. I just did a little other little interview with Be Real. Shout out to Be Real TV. Them niggas uh I was trying to teach them how to, so I don't want no one in here to fuck their lips up. When you hit this shit, you low-key gotta you can't hit it like a blunt. You can't really just pull with your lips. You gotta like hit this shit like a real cigar with your throat. No homo like you gotta like inhale with your lungs, like it's crazy. You'll get to, I'll show you you'll get the hang of this shit though. We're gonna get real high though today, man. Yeah, we'll get real high today, man. This ain't no just normal day. This actually this is a every single day, but I don't know if it's a normal day for y'all, you feel me? Oh yeah, we, we gonna smoke all this shit. Okay. Sure. Okay, yeah. you're in the right spot. And this is a different episode. We in the motherfucking lit shack, man. We in my motherfucking art studio. I was gonna ask you about that too. How'd you come up with the did you come up with the team keep it lit? Uh, of course, yeah, yeah. Like uh well it was like me and like maybe six or seven of my friends. But that shit was just in my mom's house on some growing up shit. Like, man, you know, we all keep the lit. We got to come up with a squad. We got to come up with a team. And then my, like, childhood friend named Slims, Stack City Slims, uh, he, like, came up with the name of it and type shit. And it was just, like, a solid, just, like, my cousins, my best friends that I grew up, we came up with the shit. And then, um, you know, it just expanded her heavily and heavily. And, then, you know, we just, we got multiple shit, though. Like, I fuck with my my street actions niggas. They all, they all team keep it lit. I fuck with my three kings homies, my big homies, they team keep it lit. Like, Bang gang, all Lil Yee and all them niggas, they rep Team Keep It Lit. Like, I even got ASAP niggas, like ASAP Rocky's homies that be hashtagging Team Keep It Lit and shit. So yeah. it's like some worldwide shit, yeah. Hell yeah. That's I just dropped a song called We Glo- we Global, man. Team yeah. Keep It Lit, We Global, man. Hell yeah. That was fun, man. You used to earn a lot of shit, man. Mm hmm. With the, uh, the clay chains, the canvases, the weed, nigga. Yeah. Team Keep It Lit, your own movement, man. That shit dope. You got a clothing line right now, or what? Yeah, yeah, we got Lit Gear. We got a clothing company called Lit Gear. It's kind of like a merch, but, um, we got like these sweat outfits that are like the Kappa sweat outfits we just dropped. We just redid the Kappa sweat outfits. Uh, we got these turkey bag shirts and shit. Like, you know, we got a bunch of shit. I got a lot of new trays and shit coming soon. Like my own weed, weed shit. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Rolling up grind, grinders, lighters, yeah. everything. So, yeah, we just trying to be innovative and have inspire. You know what I'm saying? Have the next yeah. motherfuckers let them know it's good and they can do this shit too. You feel me? Period. What was one of your highest moments? Uh, shit. I ain't gonna lie. It was just recently. One of my high, I'm gonna tell you two of my highest moments. My highest moment when I was younger, I hit a bong for the first time, and I, I thought I could handle this type of shit, and I, I, I literally feel like it was a fire in my fucking throat, and I grabbed the closest thing to me because I didn't want to throw up on my nigga carpet. I grabbed his cup. It was a cup of Kool Aid full to the top, damn near. So I damn near spilled it anyway. But I threw up in this nigga's cup of Kool Aid. Then I tried to grab the weights, the little like you know d- dumbbell shit, so yeah. was dropping all this. I was just loaded as fuck, and I felt like I was in a movie. That was the first time I was high, and then recently. Uh, I stopped smoking like as much as I used to and stopped doing hell of the shit I used to do type shit trying to be on some healthier shit so I took a dab in LA with Be Real and this shit got me so fucking loaded <laughs> and I was supposed to be doing an interview and I was just sitting back like damn I gonna be able to do this fucking interview you was, uh, <laughs> I felt like I was drunk almost you know what I mean it was like crazy but it was what cool what kind like, of uh, wax was it do you know it was some like shit they said it was like uh, THCA or HC I don't know. It was like some clear fucking look like yeah, crystal yeah. meth almost type shit. Ninety six percent THC type shit. God damn. Yeah, that shit was some pure. It was some clear wax. It was like rocks, like clear rocks, like fire, like pure. Chris, what is that? A T A C A. Yeah, T A C A. T A C A. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, we gonna we gonna get that shit. Mike, Mike, Mike got some. I wanna hit that shit, nigga. I was gonna ask you too though, um, about the uh that your sober life and everything. You know you're trying to turn everything oh, yeah, yeah. sober and everything. How did you uh start that shit? Um shit, or, honestly. Why did you start this shit? Yeah, there's shit, there's just reasons just like I got a son that's one years old. I wanted to just be on some like healthier shit for him. It's like like and then like yams, I got a couple of people that just done passed away over, you know, shit this you know what I'm saying, we can't yeah. control and then the way I was going in, they I was waking up, I was doing powder at twelve o'clock in the afternoon on some just a daily basis shit, feel me? Like for nothing. Mm-hmm. Losing yeah. money, just you know what I'm saying, wasting time type shit. But that's shit that you just gotta learn. 
Uh, you know what I'm saying? People got to wake a game up. You got to have good people in your corner to get away from that shit. And yeah. I'm not saying that shit wrong. Like, people could do that shit. There's nothing against it. But I was letting it overcome me type shit. You got to have moderation to everything you do. Yeah. So like, you know what I'm saying? We got I just had to back away from that type shit. So and then we went on tour with Playboy Cardi. My nigga Young LB and uh, Ski Mask Joski took me on tour with Playboy Cardi. And when I touched down in Boston, I actually hit some powder in the motherfucking airport. That's the last time I, ever, I hit powder. So it's been like 45 days since I've been sober from that shit. But like, I don't know. I just wanted to be on some healthier shit for my kids. Yeah. For me type shit. I was just, you know what I'm saying? I didn't want to get taken over from the shit. Because a lot of niggas become J-Cats and get taken over by that shit. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm too dope of a nigga for that to happen type shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I mean, that's pretty much what it was. And I just feel better. I wake up earlier. You know what I'm saying? Just feel, it's just a better feeling. Yeah. I get high off weed again. Like, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I took that dab and I was loaded as fuck. Because I wasn't doing no drugs like that for hell long. Hell yeah. How much money do you think you done spent on drugs? <laughs> Drugs or weed? Or all, all of it? All of it together. I don't really consider weed say, a drug. I would say like 100 bands, and that's probably low. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I made a lot of money off clay candy, you know what I'm saying, when I was young, and I just blew that shit on a lot of tree, a lot of packs, a lot of zip a day. Zip, for sure, at least a zip a day, and that was just me. Yeah. I got my nigga Marley, he blows a zip a day. My nigga Lucky, he blows a zip a day. My cousin Matt, he blows a My nigga Mississippi, we all blow like a zip damn near to a half ounce, so by the end of the day, we damn near almost smoke a half a pound. It's and that's not even trying, it's just how we is. Let the, let the spot hit it, man. That shit, you gotta puff a few times to get that shit going. It's gonna go around a few times. That shit, man. But yeah, that's keep it lit, just, that's our shit, but that's, it's not just smoking weed. We all keep it super lit. But yeah. like, keeping it lit is just means continue, you feel me? So if you just continue to work your fucking job, you yeah. can work wherever, that's just you keeping it lit. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. How was the tour with the um with Playboy Cardi? That shit was insanity. What states and shit did y'all go to? Um, I touched down in Boston and I hit like the whole like New York, Florida, fucking Detroit, Chicago. Chicago was lit. I was I was fucking around everywhere. That shit was, was crazy. LB and then they went across every state. It was lit. They went to, like 30, 30 fucking states or some shit. God damn. <laughs> But yeah, that shit was fun. I was stage diving, nigga, and all the crowds. Like, we was turned up. They don't. I ain't dropping no music yet, but they turned up to every single thing I'm doing. I'm performing. Hell yeah, that song I got, and they going crazy. Like it's mosh pit and got their phones yeah. on. I'm stage diving. They catching me. So it's just like gave me that, it gave me that like inspiration, like to know that all right, I can come out there and really do this shit and be on a tour with the confidence and just you know take it to the next level type shit. Yeah. And me be the artist instead of me just watching the motherfuckers or putting people on type shit. Yeah, most well, definitely. What you got upcoming right now? I got a mixtape called Lit Set coming out. The actual, actually, the cover is right here on my wall. It's the dip set shit, but we, we, we flipped it to Lit Set. You feel me? And uh, that's I got a project. It's probably like a 10 track EP that I'm about to put out. It's going to be produced by uh, the first FKI first from uh, he's Post Malone's producer. He put out White Iverson and shit. Yeah. So I'm probably going to put that out. And then, uh, you know, just the strains. I got a new strain called Kryptonite. Chris, you can pass me that? Yeah. I got this new strain called Kryptonite. Jill is Kryptonite. Hell yeah. That's gonna come. Like the Jilla Wafers is already out right now, but you know the Kryptonite shit. That's that's the next step right there. That's pure from fire. He's that's flame. Fire. So what? Um, what's one of your favorite weeds right now? <laughs> Some of your favorite weeds right I'm, now? I'm not gonna be biased and say just my weed. So besides my weed, I like Pie Guys, my big homie Snowman. That's like one of the, like niggas can't even get that. That's like a rare gem. So obviously that's gonna be a, a, a favorite. But we don't smoke that on a daily. I'm not gonna lie to you. But um, I like Gelato 41. Like we got, I I got access to flavors because I'm just tapped in with burner and all the shit. Yeah. So I got access to a lot of flavors, but I like just the gelatos or sherbets and shit like that. Yeah, hell yeah. You uh, you try biscotti and shit. Yeah, for sure. Biscotti, that's, 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 like biscotti, biscotti fire. Actually, hell the yeah. thing is, when I be smoking them shits a lot of time, LB he'll fuck around and mix biscotti and like gelato. He'll mix all his weeds and yeah. shit, so it'd be all dope as fuck. But I can't really tell. Like I'm like, what what you mix this one? And he like, I don't remember because I was, I think biscotti and <laughs> yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. But so it's just yeah, we just smoking yeah. pure all fire, all flavors. Most definitely. Hell yeah! What's some um? Oh, you were talking about your mixtape. You got any uh collabs on there? Um, I'm gonna have just like some local cats, of course. Just all the team keepers gonna be under the kid basic. Uh, Slims, Young LB, Dollars Up, Nero, Joski. Uh, I'm probably gonna put a uh, little Yee on it. I'm probably gonna highlight a little Pete, see what he's talking about. I got some shit with Doja V. I'm actually gonna do to this like Jack of beat. It's gonna be like a R.I.P. Jack of tribute type shit. Yeah. So just like just local cats that I fuck with type shit. I got a, actually got a song with Young Pinch that I'm for sure gonna put on there. It was like the second track I ever did. And then, you know, like, of course, I got access to Post Malone's on School by Cues, but I don't know. I'm just going to, I'm not going to ride that wave yet. I'm going to put out my own shit with my own yeah. in-house people, you feel me? Yeah. How did you, like, get in touch with a lot of these artists? Like, did they hit you or, like, 
you know, was it just networking and just, you know, as time go by? Yeah, it was time go by, and it was just like perfect. It was perfect timing, actually. When I put out the clay candies, it was a chime when no one was doing that type of artwork and shit. And, uh, like, obviously, Wiz is a big cosign, so, like, anybody that Wiz fucked with, he would, like, put them on with me. Or I started living with Mac Miller. I met hella different people, like... Schoolboy Q, like all these ASAP Rockies, like the shit just cause it was like a domino effect type shit. Yeah. Riff raps and all the Gucci man. I was in Spring Breakers with Gucci man, so that shit was just like me being just on some positive shit and being the person I am. My personality opened up hella doors with other people to just keep fucking with me on some like yeah. everyday shit. Supposed to me just come dropping off a piece of product to them type shit. Yeah. So yeah, that's just that's, it. Just trickled it down all the way to it. Even Post Malone, like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Most definitely. How long you um been rapping for? I've probably been rapping for like four months, but taking this shit seriously, like two months, I ain't gonna lie to you. So yeah. like, not long. But yeah. I've been around this shit for like 15 years strongly. Like, Jacket was my big bro, and like, when that whole Frisco anthem with Big Rich was going around, and that whole like, Jacket, all the shit Jacket was putting out, the glamorous lifestyle, like, I'm in all them videos. I was like, I was a teen then, and them niggas was open arms to me, E40 even, all them too short. All yeah. them like was opening arms to me just being a young cat showing up everywhere my face I would just and that's what y'all gotta do pull up everywhere I don't give a fuck where it's at if you can make it to there pull up cause once someone sees your face so many times they ain't got nothing no no choice but to respect it you feel me yeah so that's just I mean that's, that's how it happened that's how things went most definitely hell yeah uh all right, so I, I see that you wrote hell of motherfucking woods already, so I, I'm not gonna ask you would you rather prefer a backwood, raw, or just because a lot of motherfuckers be I'm gonna tell you in order. I can tell you in order what I fuck with. All right, yeah, let me know in order. <laughs> All right, I fuck with off top of backwood, then a fronto leaf, then a Dutch, then a paper, then a, I smoke a doobie off the bong before I smoke a motherfucking paper, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't like, I don't like papers. No, I don't really fuck the papers either. I'll take the doobies. Where the fuck do that? Yeah. I take one of these doobies like this, untake the paper off of it, put that shit in the bone before I'm smoking the paper. Uh, I ain't going to lie to you. I just, it just more, gets, it's resonated weed already. It gets me more high. I can have a zipper tree on me. I got this whole box of weed right here on me. I still fuck around and do that after every blunt just because that's how high I'm getting. Yeah. I'm not wasting none of this shit. I'm not wasting and, and you know none what of this shit. I got to race my pops to this shit. Pops coming to grab it. He got tree two on there, but he coming to take the doobies too. Yeah. He's, I got to raise pops to this I shit. Race pops to the, he coming I'm like, hold on. He got me fucked up. Yeah. Hell yeah, most definitely. What I'm about to say, uh, what's like an average day with you? Like, you know, a day in the life with you ought to be like? All right. I'm waking up, taking my kid to school. She five. Then I'm coming back. I'm going to Starbucks. I'm getting a caramel macchiato, venti, period. <laughs> um, I'm going to eat a bagel with cream cheese. I'm rolling up a fat-ass chop. I'm going to have my son chill in the playpen while I smoke a chop. <laughs> And then, uh, then I'm gonna get to spray painting. I'm gonna get to getting to work. I'm gonna I might hit the little copy store to get some shit printed out. Um, all the fellas gonna come through. That's just mandatory. We keeping shit lit. We might fuck around and go to, uh, every day is a new spot to eat. We going to Roof Chris, Flippin' Soul, motherfucking Touch of Soul, uh, Morton's. We hitting all the good food spots. Yeah. And then, um, shit, back to the spot, back to the shop. We gonna watch some football and chill. Keep it shit lit. Watch some YouTube videos. Look what's new. Try some new flavors. Hit the, uh, Cookies Cannabis Club. Get a care pack. Hit the Cookies Warehouse. Get a, uh, another care pack. That's just average day. You're keeping it lit all yeah, day. keeping it lit all day, but just Period. being productive also. Hell yeah. So what's for beginners? Um, don't uh. <laughs> always pass the blunt to the left. <laughs> so hold on, this nigga said, "Don't ever grab yeah, a light off another man's lap." My nigga sitting right here got the light on. Like, hey, bro, pass the light. <laughs> I see the nigga be like, "Don't you do that shit? I don't give a fuck. It better be a girl. You grabbing the light off her." Oh uh, shit! So that's just off top number one. Um, I would just, I would rather you rip off half the backwood and roll a fat short blunt than just try to stretch out your, all your, if you got a little bit of weed, yeah. I'd rather you put that motherfucker into a half a blunt than try to roll a full blunt with it and it'd be hella paper. Yeah. Cause people be trying to do that just to be cool. Fuck that. I mean, if you got, that's what you got, that's what you got. Um, keep a lighter on deck cause them shits get stolen off top like, all the time. And, and keep a reliable weed man. Reliable weed man, mm-hmm. <laughs> nigga that's on time all the time yeah. or what? Even if he's not on time, just a nigga that's got it all the time. Oh yeah, period. And sometimes you know niggas don't have it or your weed man got this, and you got to go to the club and spend five hundred on the dip. <laughs> you know. Oh uh, man, what about uh you know one like you know, in the moochers they smell the blunt or like you know like you seen uh, uh halfway bake when Snoop Dogg would come out for the blunt. Oh yeah, yeah. What yeah. about that shit? 
Niggas can't for the show. Be that shit. Girls in the club be trying to do that shit, like trying to get close to you, and then they go, "Can I hit that?" And I just bargain them like, "Hold on, yeah, you got hella purple lipstick on, nigga." Hold on, and then. They got the nerve to ask again, so that time I'm turning my back and pass it to my nigga off top, so they have to, they're just up, they already know that's a no. Yeah. I just, man, that should be crazy. But they, yeah, it's yeah. a lot of motherfuckers, they, 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 uh, culture vultures, they, uh, motherfucking, uh, strain hunters. <laughs> they really strain hunters. Yeah. <laughs> they in the cuts trying to smell the tree, like, you know, on a cartoon yeah. when the green smoke come out, like, yeah. it's like this, and, yeah. and Scooby-Doo smell the food, yeah. he's like... That's how they be about the tree. Like, oh, can we smoke with you? And then the main question is, what you smoking on? Hell yeah, that's how they gotta get it started to hit the weed. I got, I got, I, got, I just did two new songs within the last couple of days. I'm talking about why they asked me what I smoke. That's because they want to know what the best we. They, they know we smoking on that shit, so they want to know what is that. Hell yeah, period. What are some of the times you couldn't smoke weed? Disneyland, one of the first times, which I learned that I could smoke there now. But Disneyland, the first time I went, I damn near was having withdrawals for real. So I was with my ex-girl at the time, and then I just couldn't even have fun. Like, the first ride I got on, I was hella nauseous. I didn't have a pen at the time. It was just terrible. So the only time I was able to smoke was when I was at the hotel, and that shit wasn't enough. You know, you'd be at Disneyland for the whole fucking day. Yeah. So I was just nauseous, damn it, throwing up and hella shit. Couldn't eat my food, nothing. But then uh, right when I got back in the car and sparked up, I was right back to the, you know what I'm saying, 1,000. Yeah, and then, uh, My nigga said Disneyland. He didn't say probation. He didn't say none of that giant. Disneyland. Now I smoked in there last time. I just went to Disneyland recently. I smoked in that bitch. Period. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. But you had a pen or you were smoking weed? Nah, I had a pen. Oh, I was about to say, nah, nigga, you a boy, no nigga. Front. Yeah, I had a pen, but shit, you know, I, mean, I was lit. Hell yeah. I done sparked up in arenas, basketball games, hella shit, football games. Of course, football games. I smoked a blunt with jacket in the football at the Raiders game versus the Ravens in the playoffs. I want to say it was like 2001. Cousin was when, they, when we go to the playoffs. AFC versus the Ravens. Oh, man, it's about 2001. Hello. Oh, yeah. Jack smoking yeah. tree in that bitch. I got Hell stories, yeah. my nigga, for days. For sure, for sure. All right, so weed dealers versus dispensaries. How you feel about that? It's more convenient. A weed dealer's more convenient. <sighs> Am I not right? Hell yeah. You know what I'm they going to come yeah. pull up to you. Uh, the club, they're going to have it there all the time, though. So it's like, if you ain't tripping off your gas or your tofu or all that shit, I pull, pull up to the club. Go to Cookies. Go to Cookies or Green Door. I'm Hell not yeah. biased. I fuck with both the niggas. Hell yeah. But if you got a nigga that's going to pull up to you with that same shit, why would you go there? Hell yeah. yeah. But some people be feeling like, they don't want to pay that price if it's somebody off the street. They True. Go to the that's club why you can't. But if they know that, that club, the shit. but if they know if that club's uh, co-signing that person, yeah, then it's, it's smooth. Hell yeah, most definitely. Where can um people find like your upcoming music or you know where can they um, contact you at to get some of these? Honestly, uh, you could just hit me on the Instagram for now. I don't have a, I don't have, I ain't put out no SoundCloud. My my brother Young LB got SoundCloud. Y U N G L B. My, my brother, the Kid Basic, got a SoundCloud, the Kid Basic, B-A-Y-S-I-C-K. But I haven't put out none of my music yet. I got two videos, um, you know, pro exclusive shot. One of them, I'm probably going to drop that first, actually. You know what I'm saying? He, Nick, you, <coughs> Nick, the, the boys shot my shit, man. So, you know, I'm going to drop that first so I can get my platform. I've been talking to uh, Gazi and Nima from Empire about some shit. So I'm just trying to figure out the right way to do this shit. I don't want to just rush into it and drop a song and then be a nigga with one song type shit. I want to do this shit yeah, for yeah. real. While it's, and, and capitalize off of this shit while it's what it is right now, while with the music games that type shit. Most definitely. What's some tips you got from um for some of these youngsters growing up, you know, and, and they looking at you, you know, they seeing how you maneuver and how yeah. you network and shit. Like, what's some tips you got for them? Don't be over. Uh, don't be too much. Don't be. Don't be trying to like just be yourself. Don't come if you see a celebrity. I know it's time. Like, there's times when I've seen people and I thought I would be on some fan shit. Like, I done met Little Wayne's and hell of shit. You know, like you got to just be you. Don't be trying to. Um, just come out of the out the way. I know you get an opportunity to see someone on this day, only your only chance, but try to like build a relationship. That's what I do. I build relationships with people as far as just me being a person, like and have something to offer. You know what I'm saying? Like come to the table with something. Like at the end of the day, they, what they if you meet somebody, you're gonna have to be doing like some film work or some editing or designing or music. Have something to offer because if you gonna just come and meet someone, what are they gonna want to kick it with you for? Yeah, you know? definitely, buddy. But shit, man, thank you for sliding to me. Got a check. It's lit. Sad T killers, we buy the check. Bout to check. It's 10, keep it lit, we buy the check. Bout to check. I just want the money, not the neck. Not the neck. We pulling up if niggas got a check. Got a check.